What do they gain by the fact that this is Des Bryant's first uh, healthy offseason in I think two Since or three years? Yeah. Right, two or three years. And there was always questions whether or not Dak and Des had the right chemistry. To hear that, what do you think that means for the Cowboys offense? I think it means good things for the Cowboy offense. And the reason why is because they had a whole offseason to work together. Last year when he was drafted, it was kind of like he got thrown in the fire. Tony Romo was hurt. So it was kind of like you had to just roll the dice and whatever, came, whatever they came up with, that's what you got to roll with. But this year, they've had some time to work in the offseason with one another with one another to find out what they can do well and what they cannot do well. So for me, looking at that play the other night, Dez uh, being able to catch that back shoulder with the yeah. cornerback playing high, that shows me that they're working. So the chemistry that we're looking for in Dallas, I think they're ready to uh, hit on all cylinders. What does it say about both Dak as a leader, Dez as a leader who knows how to follow, that Dez is so bought into Dak that he is in his ear listening to him like he's following Dak's lead. Like it just it speaks to both of their maturity. Dak calling him Dak is a second year player right calling Dez Bryant the most improved player on the team. Mm -hmm. What does it say about their relationship and their respect for well, each other? Well, the one thing that really stands out to me is you having a young guy coming in uh, at, at Dak and then Dez being a veteran to give him that much love yep. that much respect early in a young career. Yep. It's only good things going to come out of Dallas. So hopefully that offensive line stays healthy, get somebody in and running back for the time that Zeke's going to be gone. But I'm telling you, just being able to show that back shoulder throw for a touchdown, yeah. that's in that's season. Out. That's mid-season form. But for them to be able to just hit on all sellers in the preseason, then they got them out of there. Good things can they happen. They got a lot of somebody's at running back. You saw Rod Smith? <laughs> Jim Smith, <laughs> <laughs> brother Rod. Six, seven yards yeah, a carry. Going like. from fullback and special teams, plenty of people could run the rock behind him. Yeah.